Okay, well, we're starting this one off, and yeah, I ran out of gas. I don't even know how I didn't catch on to that, or how I didn't see the light pop on, or how I didn't see it on E for however long it was. But uh, yeah, my situational awareness must be pretty bad, because this is just absolutely insane. But I just got so caught up in the grind. When I'm in my vehicle, I'm usually filming something or whatever it may be, so that's my excuse. But luckily, I have a gas can in the back, because this is a reoccurring problem that I faced. But it's not only me, my gauge is actually like kind of messed up. It said yesterday that it was like half full, and then today, for some odd reason, it's just completely drained and empty and dried out, which is weird. But I was like idling back at this other spot to get some Wi-Fi for a long ass time yesterday So that's probably what it was, but I couldn't see it draining that much gas But either way the gas can always comes in clutch and then that should be enough just to get to the gas station well, Let's go. Okay. Well, let's see what the final result is Hopefully it starts up and it fires up and I can just be off to the gym and off to the races Okay, okay. I like that sound. It started off a little cold. Well, now she's filled up just a little bit. It should be enough for me to get to the gym and then get to where I have to go. Probably, you know, the gas station would be my best bet. But, like, I just don't like getting gas, apparently. That's why I'm always running out, especially in the rain. Like, damn, man. But, yeah, it's 8 a.m. right now. It is quite early. I mean, I could have woken up a little bit earlier. I should have went to, like, si I always say this. I always say I wish I could have, wish I would Why don't I just do it then? Why don't I just do it and live by an example? I have no idea, but yeah, I'm just gonna go to Tim Hortons, I'm gonna get some breakfast, and then after that, I'm gonna head to the gym, and hopefully I have enough gas to get up to the gas station and fill it up. But uh, yeah, we're off to the races, let's go. This gauge is actually so deceiving, like it's saying it's half full right now, and I probably only got like a liter out of that jerry can. But this is what I mean, it's not just my fault, like this vehicle is very deceiving, it's always trying to trick me. So he's playing games, but at least I had a jerry can. I mean, the situation could be a lot worse. I could be stranded there without any gas, looking for someone on the streets, being like, hey, bro, you got some gas, you got a jerry can, this, that, and the third. Like, there's not something I'll be looking forward to, especially at 8 a.m. when I got things to do, and I got things to film, and I got places I want to be and places I want to go. Wouldn't be the most ideal situation at all, but um, yeah, man. It's time to go get some flipping breakfast. I am starving, but usually this highway is packed and nobody's out right now. I love this. But anyways, let's go get some breakfast, bro. I am freaking starving. Look at this view. Like, I am living blessed. I am fortunate out here. So sick and tired of these fast food establishments. Like, I need something brand new in my life ASAP right now, please. I could have just made some steak at home, but I don't even know how old that steak is. It's probably like two weeks to three to maybe even a month old, and I'm not eating that or putting that in my body. Like, that is just not going to happen. But, yeah, I wish they had, like, some brand new fast food joint that served, like, some healthier options or, like, some real food. Maybe, like, some, I don't know, potatoes, gravy, or just, you know what I mean? Like, that would be, the, that would be awesome. But, yeah, I'm just getting sick and tired of these same fast food places. Like, McDonald's. Is absolutely disgusting. In the morning, I don't know. I haven't really went there in the morning for quite a long time. But, like, in the morning is probably the best time to go. But their burgers, like, no, nah, I'm good. And Dairy Queen, like, they got some decent wraps. And Tim Hortons, they just actually have real food. And I can feel you without it being, like, too bad for you. I'm talking about the chilies, the buns. And, like, yeah, maybe they ain't the best because they're just packed to the brim with calories. But who cares? Anyways, at least it tastes like something. It's real and genuine. All right, well, the food's acquired, and this is looking not that good. I had Tim Martin's like 50 consecutive days in a row from work, and ah, oh, man, I just don't like it. Like, it's just the same thing each and every single day. I want to switch it up, but nothing is open this early in the morning. And if there was anything that's open, it's probably some sit-down restaurant where it's going to take like 20 minutes for me to get a meal. And yeah, that would probably be a little more enjoyable, but I'm on the go, baby. I'm ready to go. I'm flying. So I just need something quick so I can power through the gym without being starving. And this shall do. For now. But eventually I'm gonna get so sick and tired of this shit. And I might start a riot. But yeah, I'm just heading to the gym right now at 8 a.m. Like this is absolutely nutty, my boy. I'm gonna have to double up on my pre-workout for sure. And probably smack myself in the face a couple times and drink a whole bunch of water just to wake myself up, but see how it goes okay well i just put the two scoops in the cup <laughs> oh my lord bro i need some energy god give me some energy right now why you why do you set me up in the day drained of energy i need some give me some give me some extras come on bro but uh yeah i guess this is my form of energy is pre-workout tell that to a spiritual teacher and they'll probably go absolutely insane but yeah how do you get your energy what do you do for your mind to get your good positive energy? I take pre-workout. 
What the flip am I saying? Have I gone mad? Like, am I am I sane compared to everyone else? It's not looking like it. But anyways, I'm going to go to the gym and I'm going to absolutely crush it and destroy it. Because you got to, bro. Every single time people say, yeah, I keep showing up. But are you showing out? <sighs> but are you showing out, though? That's that's real. And especially on days like this, like I don't care how I feel. I got to show out because that's energy for after the gym. Knowing that you did something successfully and you went 140%, especially when you didn't want to do it or you didn't want to be there. It's powerful, especially when you leave this place and then I go to shoot some content. Then I'll be doing the extras. And I'll be going above and beyond. I'm not going to lie. This is disgusting. Ugh. It was good like the first couple times I tried it. But after a while, it just turns into calories. And it's just like, you know what? I need to eat this so I can get ready. Well, I just got some booster juice. And man, is this ever good after a workout? Mmm. It comes in clutch every single time. But yeah, I got a slight issue on my hands. I went to go grab my wallet and I looked inside and my debit card is just non-existent. It's not there, it's vanished, it's gone. So I'm like, hmm, trying to trace back my steps of where the heck I could have placed this thing or where I put it. And oh my Lord, I remembered like four days ago, I went to this shitty ass gym, not my main gym, just some random little side gym. And I had these like little dingy ass shorts and they have, they don't accept taps. So I had to bring in my, just my solo debit card, bring it in, tap it so I could get a day pass. And I should have just walked it back to my car and been done right there. But no, my ass, you know, I put my shaker cup and I put my debit card right beside the shoe stand and I like tucked it behind the thing. Now, holy man, I'm just praying it is still there because it was like, you could see it, it was visible to the eye if you looked hard enough, which isn't the greatest thing. So I'm just hoping my luck is, you know, good. Like the gods are on my side and somebody didn't just pick it up and went on a tapping spree and bought a whole bunch of random ass shit. But I should be fine though. But that, oh man, it's just not a good feeling. Anyways, my fault, my bad, you live, you learn. Um, and hopefully I can still live. Hopefully it's not gone. Uh, just one of those things. One of those things. And then I'm gonna walk back in and they're gonna be like, hey, are you trying to go in the gym? Like, hey, buy a day pass. No, I'm trying to get my flipping debit card. Like, get the heck out of my way, man. Hopefully it's still there. I do not want to go through the process of getting a new one. I'm just gonna ask, hey, did you guys find a debit card? And if they say no, I'm gonna be like, damn, well, you guys are scheming, you guys are lying. But yeah, let's hope, right? One could wish, one could hope. And after this, I'm gonna go to my cabin and clean the place. It just depends, like, this is the deciding factor. If I'm gonna have a good day or if I'm gonna have, like, just one of those days where it's like, bleh. Let's go check it out, I'm really hoping. I'm just gonna tell her straight, like, I don't know what the hell I'm gonna say. All right, dude, look at that nasty ass bird eating food off the ground. I just forgot something in the gym. Like, not a long ago, so I'm just gonna check it out. Oh, just my debit card, nothing big, nothing serious. Probably if it's something like the debit card, we would probably put it aside and mm -hmm. work down, down at the gym, so. Oh, okay. I would need to go and cancel that one then. <laughs> yeah, probably have to, yeah. Alright, well, have a good one. Okay, well, the only thing he said he had was a Bible and a whole bunch of random other assortment of goodies, right? I might just need that Bible, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna have to cancel that whole thing and then go through a process of getting another one? Like, what the heck? I just pray, like, hopefully it's in my car and I'm not just tweaking out and tripping. Like, please, for the love of God. Oh my God. <gasps> Dude. Yeah, don't mind my messy ass car. That is like my garbage bin whenever I have food and I'm rushing and I'm in a rush. I'll just throw it here. But thank God. I just, I had like a, a vision inside of my mind or just like a flashback of where I placed my card and I never seen it since. And it's just been out of my wallet, but here it is. Thank God, God damn, I have a fucking fishbowl memory, but like, God damn, thank God. You know what I mean? Like, bless the Lord and take some more. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna start reading that Bible. That that guy was talking about. Anyways, what's next? I gotta clean my cab and I gotta do those types of things. Yeah, I gotta get gas before it fucking runs out on the side of the road. Just my luck, right? That'd be funny. And I gotta stop swearing as well. Something I'm working on. But it's just like a thing that just subconsciously happens all the time. And I don't even notice it until I notice it. But anyways, let's get some gas. Yeah. Okay, well, now it's time to clean this nasty ass vehicle, buddy. They got a vacuum right here. So I'm going to suck all the dirt and the grime out of this vehicle and make it mine, baby. Clean as a dime, as a whistle, as whatever. Okay, anyways, let me go grab some air fresheners. Let me go grab some things to go squeaky deaky this vehicle real quicky. Okay, okay, baby. Cool. Oh. Come on. Hello. Doing pretty great. Right here, man. Look at those 
Bayside Breeze. Wild cherry. Excellent bark ice. Some midnight air. Yeah. Shit I like when they add a tap to their machines instead of a dollar or two knee because nobody carries around change or nobody carries around dollar bills. Like, bro, what is this 1980? Like, give me some tap in this bitch. I gotta stop swearing. I really do. Hopefully, my audience is just as old as me. There's no kids watching at home. Cover your ears. But uh, yeah. Mm. What is the best air freshener, do you think? Honestly, fucking cotton candy is the net, and I swear again, okay, cotton candy is the nastiest. Um, I like the new car scent, black ice is pretty fire, Bayside Breeze, Zite, um, anything like fruit or whatever is not gonna do. Anyways, let me clean my flipping car, bro. Want a time lapse? Well, you ain't getting one, so pipe down, buddy. Oh, they keep, oh, what is that? Nice, well. Nice. Well, they keep on locking the doors so I can't wash my clothes. I can't dry my clothes. I can't do anything with my clothes besides drive 20 minutes away and uh, go hug them in a coin wash, which, you know, is not ideal because I, I have to wash them first off and then I have to come back like 45 minutes later and then I got to dry them. And it's like, mm, it's just not something I want to do, but it's something I have to do. And after that, I'm going to go grocery shop. And I know this isn't no Mr. Beast content or something absolutely off the charts, but hey, like I'm trying what i could try and i'm doing what i can do and that's all i can do at the end of the day is just let her do what she do so hopefully you love what i do and that's enough for you because i'm just trying to make her do you know with what i got okay i got a pinner there's a car like right behind me oh my god i'm gonna Whoo but yeah my cabin's all clean it's looking sparkling fresh you can probably lick the floors or have some food off the floors or whatever you want to do off the floors like you can do it but what you can't do is sweep up any more dirt off it it's just sparkling clean but yippity do man well i'm just gonna go to the grocery store after i drop off my clothes and i'm gonna get a whole bunch of meals ready for work i'm not gonna do no meal prep but i'm just probably just gonna make my lunch for tomorrow because ain't nobody got time for that like that's such a waste of time and i'm just gonna make some food when i get back to my cabin because i feel depleted like i really haven't had that much today at all I had like some life cereal in the morning, maybe like two small bowls, and then I went to Booster Juice after the gym and got a shake and some Booster Balls. Which, you know, whatever, it is what it is, I'm not complaining. But yeah, after I'm done dropping my clothes off and going to this grocery store that I absolutely despise, even though you need food to survive in this world, obviously, so maybe it's, you know, I'm just making it worse than it seems, but I just always feel like I'm wasting my time when I go to the grocery store, each and every single time. I don't know, I just feel like I could be doing something better with my time. And I could, but yeah, after I drop off my clothes, after I go to the grocery store, it's time for a jog in the rain. Why is that? Because it builds that mental fortitude, that mental discipline, and also it just like, I feel like I'm more creative when I go on jogs or when I go for walks. It's just a good time to brainstorm and get a whole bunch of creative ideas and think about life and think about what I want to upload, what I want to create, what I want to make. It's a good time to do that. And yeah, I'm just trying to find this coin wash right now, man. I don't mind dropping my clothes off there, but driving back to town just to pick up some clothes honestly it's just shitty it's a trash idea but yeah i don't mind dropping my clothes off here in the washer but the idea of coming back here like i don't know 45 minutes later when i'm fucking gonna be busy doing something else is just not something i want to do but something i gotta do so whatever anyways we're here coin laundry yeah cool Ooh, well, just my luck. It says loony only, but I only have a one loony and a whole bunch of toonies. Like, what the fuck is going on? Of course, life is just always like that. So I got one toonie, two toonies, three toonies, four toonies, five toonies. Like, what? I only got one loony in sight. Like, oh my lord. Whatever, I'm just gonna go across the street, go into the store, and try to get these changed out for a couple loonies. Hopefully she budges. If she doesn't, she's whack. If he doesn't, he's whack. Because I need to clean my clothes. And I don't want it to be in the fate of some cashier. Not today. Because I don't want to drive back home. Hell no. Nah. Baby, baby. Well, the clothes are in there. Can you just stop blowing wind in here? Like, man, close all the windows and get this baby sealed. But uh, yeah, my clothes are done. They're finished. Did some stonks. Got, you know, you already know the big trade that went down. Like, man, I'm a hustler. I've been a hustler since a child. Like, it's nothing new. My talking game is slick. Anyways, I'm glad that guy was there because I would have been fucked because it's Sunday, everything was closed, I couldn't go across the street. And if I would have had to, if I would have had to go to a gas station that's like 10 minutes away, 
just for my dumbass clothes, oh, I would have lost my mind. But, but uh, yeah, now it's time to go grocery shopping. Yeah, exciting, right? Exciting, yeah. And I just don't like going grocery shopping at all. Like, every time it's crowded, every time somebody's staring or giving me some bug-eyed look, and it's like, bro, what are you even looking at? Like, what is up with you? Ooh, safe on foods. I'm excited. Yeah. What are you looking at? What's your what's your what's your deal here, buddy? What the heck is going on? You don't gotta give me that look at all. Like keep it to yourself. Anyways, let's uh Well, grocery shopping is out the way and I'm just feeling funky. Anyways, the bags are secured. Literally, the bags are secured. They're not moving, they're not going anywhere. Besides, it's my cabin, which is gonna be fun. Yep. But yeah, that's all I have. Like, honestly, after this, I'm just gonna go on a jog and start editing content. So for my YouTube channel, this is gonna be it. Unless I go, I might go get a G7X. I'm not sure, like, that was something I brought up this morning. And that's something I'm actually considering. Like, it would be so beneficial and it would be useful. Um, instead of just, you know, doing everything off my phone at once, I could multitask and use the two. So I might just do that. But the only issue is it's like a half an hour drive, which, you know, isn't too bad, considering it's only like, I don't know, 2 p.m., 2.30. But yeah, if I go do that, well, then I obviously got to film it. But if I don't, then that that's it, bye.